hello guys welcome back to the next video where we are solving question 9 from IIC 2023 question paper for accountancy if you have missed out the previous videos check out the entire playlist from the description box below and if you don't want to miss out any future videos then you have to click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications this sum is of past adjustments where we are required to prepare the adjusted current accounts of the partners after taking into consideration the lapse in accounting we have the capital account balances given we have the current account balances given to us we have the PSR given to us all right so now since we are required to prepare the current account and we have the balances given to us let's put that into the current account straight away so all of these are credit balances nothing else is mentioned so we will take them as credit balances so March 31 by balance BD okay that becomes our entry and we'll put the respective amounts which is 35,000 40,000 and 25,000 the first one is done let's move on to the next one we have subsequently these errors were noticed number one the interest on capital at the rate 10 percent per annum had been allowed to the partners although there was no provision for it in the partnership deed this is the table that you are required to calculate the adjustments for entries which are done that means for rectifying past adjustments all right so we will write interest on capital wrongly provided now reversed okay it will be debited to partners current account and credited in the firm's account just the reverse thing that we will do 10% per annum is the interest and fixed capital method has been used so the interest calculation will be a straightforward one which is 10% of 4 lakh which is 40,000 10% of 6 lakhs is 60,000 and 10% of 2 lakhs which is 20,000 right and this will be credited to the firm's account the sum of this that's coming to 1,20,000 okay the first step is done and this debit and credit classification will make things easier for you just you have to follow that Point number A is done. Let's move on to point number B. The salary of 16,000 per annum to Shiv and 20,000 per annum to Azim was not allowed to them despite a provision for salary in the partnership deed. Then we have to provide them the salary. Then write, let's write down partner's salary. This will be credited to the respective account of Shiv and Azim. So let's write it down 16,000 for Shiv and for Azim it is 20,000. This will be credited to Azim. A total of 36,000 that will be debited to the firm's account. The firm's account represent the PL appropriation account. So if you keep that in mind, things will become easy for you. Number B is done as well. Let's move on to number C. Commission of 24,000 was not allowed to Angad despite a provision for commission in the partnership deed. So Angad's commission or partner's commission. This will be credited to Angad's current account which is 24,000 and this will be debited in the firm's account as 24,000. Point number C is done as well and we do not have anything else so we can close this account and let's distribute the remaining profit which is coming out of it so share of profit in the ratio of 2 is to 2 is to 1 how much is profit let's find out how much is the profit here that will be a straightforward calculation let's do it let's do the total column first a 
okay now let's do the total for this this should be equals to this so in that case the profit that we have that will be 1 lakh 20 thousand minus 36 thousand minus 24 thousand which is 60 thousand this will be the amount that will be distributed at that means credited to each of the partners current account so 60,000 into 2 by 5 even for Azim that will be same and for Angad that will be 60,000 into 1 by 5 following the ratio of 2 is to 2 is to 1 alright now the next step after we have done this we have to run the total for each of the columns okay same formula we have to put for each one of these columns we have to do the total let's do it one by one The total should come here as well. Let's do the sum the way we do it normally. And here as well, this is already tallying the firm's column. There is nothing to balance there. For Shiv's current account as well, both the sides are same, so no balance is coming out of it. However, for Azim and for Angad, we have some difference. So, that will be 60,000 minus 44,000. Our debit side is bigger. So, this will be written on the debit side for Azim. And for Angad, the credit side is bigger. And that will be written on the credit side. And you have to see that your debit and your credit amounts are adding up to the same like debit total and credit total are the same and this is matching here out of this the journal entry if you were required to pass journal entry then the journal would have been straight from here Azim's current account debit 16,000 to Angad's current account 16,000 however in this case we are not required to pass journal we are required to prepare the current account the adjusted current account so this will be posted to the current account so Azim's current account is debited to Angad's current account. So let's write it down here. This are done on the first day of April when these mistakes were identified. So Azim's current account debit to Angad's current account. Alright, this will be sitting in Angad's current account. Azim's column here. And same thing we write here April 1 by <coughs> Azim's current account and this will be written here in Angad's column which is 16,000 all right and let's find out the balance on the same date here that will be to balance CD the normal procedure to find out the balance okay so this will be equals to this this will be this minus this and this will be equals to this as well so these are the balances that we have and you can bring it down again or you can leave it there so again 2022 april 1 this is already done on april 1 so this is however not necessary to do it you can just leave it there at balance cd Alright, 
this completes the current account the adjusted current account of the partner and this is for 10 marks little time consuming because you have to prepare so much such a big format however it makes your life easy once it is prepared everything is sorted so hope this was helpful and helped you out to understand things hit the like button if this was helpful and share with your friends we'll catch you all in the next video with the next set of sums that we have thanks for watching